Remembering the Sampagita Theater, Cadiz City. Sampagita was located on Luna Street, in Cadiz City, Philippines. The information in this video came from City Hall, and several people I interviewed. That said, there are still holes in this story. If you have anything to contribute please write them in the comments section below. The Sampagita Theater opened in 1963. It was a single screen theater. The theater was owned by the Fernandez family and managed by Ronaldo Flores. The average ticket price was between 75 centavos to 1.5 pesos for general seating. Balcony seating costs more, and families that could afford more, sat in the balcony. The Oscar-winning movies that came out in 1963 were Lawrence of Arabia, Walt Disney's Bon Voyage, The Music Man, The Touch of Mank, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? To Kill a Mockingbird? Birdman of Alcatraz? The Manchurian Candidate? The Longest Day? The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance? Mutiny on the Bounty? And Teres Bulba? I also included popular Filipino movies that were released in 1963. Philippine cinema was going through a secret agent or spy movie craze at the time. The biggest Filipino movie at that time was Manhunt, Our Man in Manila, just like in the States, the Ten Commandments was an annual Easter event. Earlier I said ticket prices were between 75 centavos to 1.5 pesos for general seating. This is a slide for the cost of food in America in 1963. Theater capacity. There are no records of the actual capacity that I could find. However, looking at the seating space it seemed to hold between 300 to 500 people. The concession stand sold, popcorn. Peanuts, Shobhau, Banana Cake, Balut, was sold outside the theater. Prior to 1980s, stateside audiences dressed up to watch movies. In America, wearing raggedy or jeans with holes was considered having lack of self-respect. Looking homeless was not popular, and definitely not a style choice. At that time in black culture, one would never leave home looking substandard. This was not the case in the Philippines. General audiences wore whatever they owned to watch a film. Dressing for status was left to the elites in the community. The Sampagita Theater closed in 1996 due to bankruptcy. The Sampagita was a single screen theater in what is now a multiplex world. In fact, the Sampagita opened the same year the multiplex format opened. In 1999 Mr. Flores, the old general manager, purchased the theater and operator's license to restart the operation. However, nothing happened after the city issued the license. There were two other theaters in Cadiz. The Rigo, and the Ramona. The Ramona was located at the corner of Mabini, and Abelard, streets. The building was replaced with an RCBC bank, and several other stores. The Rigo was converted into a department store. Both the Rigo, and Ramona died a more horrible fate. In order to stay afloat, both theaters started showing X-rated films after hours. When City Hall was notified, both theaters were closed, never to reopen. The general consensus is that television, and the lack of consumer income ruined the business. I personally cannot speak about any of these theaters, but I do know when I first arrived in Cadiz in 1983, only the wealthy had a television in their homes. The local stations broadcasted between a half a day to three quarters of a day. Television went off the air around 3 p.m. in the afternoon. My family had a television because I brought a black and white television with me from Manila. When I returned in the early 2000s, nearly everyone owned a TV with an outdoor antenna. When I returned this year, nearly all houses I visited seemed to have a flat screen, cable TV, and internet.
If you like this video, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.